Hey guys, today we're joined by my friend, an electronic duo made up of two friends, James and Archie. James and Archie first met at a party in 2011 in Oxford. They bonded over a shared love and similar taste for electronic music. They've since had multiple releases on Injuna Deep, Armada, Stress Records, WNO, and Icarus's label Flyboy, coming out with a bang in 2018 with their record Solace, which has over 8 million streams on Spotify alone. They've collaborated with the likes of Simon Dotti and Dosum. They've played events across Europe and regular shows in prestigious clubs like Printworks and Fabric in the UK. The future looks bright for my friend, with an upcoming four-track EP coming out on Injuna Deep in April, as well as a collaboration with Simon Doty, which will be the lead single of Injuna Deep 15. And for the first time, they'll be touring India in May, as well as shows in Albania and the rest of Europe and the UK to be confirmed. They're here today with Basic Waves to give us a three-hour in-depth look into their writing process, so sit tight and grab a drink. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications icon, this simple and free gesture will help us grow the channel and in turn will allow us to get access to even more artists that you really want to see on this channel. And on that note, let us know in the comments who you'd love to see next. And now, over to my friend. Rummage. We're going to go about. Normally, we like to hang around 126, 128. Go to 128, shall we? Got a nice kick drum from G Art. Yeah, it's nice. We'll just get, tend to get a little loop going. That's how we normally start, just with drums. Spicy wicey. And that's the tune finished. <laughs> Always good to find a good kick. Always helps in your kicks. Nice and rounded and punchy. Um, and then we'll go for, let's try some lead. Very nice. One. One. Yeah. Energy in those. So you want another one just to back it up. I just make sure that. Quite a thin sounding hat loop, so nice to stick something else in there just to back it up, thicken it up. Pretty good, the first one. Luck of the draw.
always fine if you start with good drums to start with. It always really helps. Um, with just the the overall tune, I think we used to start with literally just a kick and a clap, and yeah, write the music around that. And kind of we used to kind of really start with the music first and not worry too much about the drums. But these days we like to kind of start with really decent drums and. Once your drums are really good, it's kind of a lot easier to vibe around with like a really decent drum loop. So that's quite important. Um. Clappy wap. You like the dirtier sounding claps normally in our tunes. Yeah, old school sounding. Sexual noise. Sometimes it's cool to add a little skippy snip, skippy clap in there, but use a different clap sound. That is what we clap on. Cool. Every round, maybe. a hat just to back up the off hat where the hats we need to go back to the drum pack right there Symbols. Hi. Uh, yeah, yeah, symbols. Oh, hi, uh, there you go. Open, we think. Okay. 909, that'll do. Straight into the MIDI. Nice. Kind of like we always tend to go for. Kind of old school sounding drums.
old school house feel. Don't really tend to mix at this point, we just kind of balance it just so it sounds all right. Sound a little bit better. Yeah, a bit more light. thing to spice it up a bit. on the top of that clap. give it a bit more um, body under that clap. We'll get into the mixing we'll get into the mixing later on. It's just um sometimes stuff needs just a little bit of help just so you're vibing on it when it comes to doing when it comes to doing other stuff like adding the bass and a bit too much probably a bit too much learned in this groove as well just a bit too much room up Oh, 
nice. That feels that feels pretty good as a starting point. Anything else, Arch? You can hear? No, sounds good. The drums. Um, so yeah, that's ten, that's what we tend to do. We try and get a, you know a decent drum loop together first. Um, find some really cool sounds like we've done here, and then it just helps the process. Um, yeah, once you have vibey drums, it's yeah, it just seems a lot easier to like feel excited about it when you're writing the next stages, so bass and synths and everything else. Um, yeah, so I'll hand over to Archie you all. Come on in. <laughs> That was a half hour, it's rapido. Oh, no. It sounded like it could maybe have like another loop in it. Yeah. Get a bit of impulse open. Get some of these one shots in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Shaker, get a little shaker. What else have we got? The rim would be nice. Rim, yeah. Ah, uh, old school rim. One of those guys. Some nice groove. <laughs> James doesn't really use impulse, ever. he prefers putting it like straight on the grid. But both are. That's from my logic days. Yeah, both are. Both used to impulse. Both work all right. Yeah. down the rim a bit. Do you want to just mix these? Or... Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. 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 think about um sorry I was butting in there arch is obviously kicks in key are quite helpful especially with bass and stuff so if you've got a kick in G so we've picked a kick in G here so it would normally be wise to write the record around G just because the, the kick will normally um just be nice and solid within the tune if the tune's in the right key as the kick. Yeah it'll sit pretty nicely. Yeah. We never used to even <laughs> we never even used to uh Paying attention to that, but now, as we've got a little bit wiser, it's kind of something we do look at quite a lot now. Cool yeah, it's a cool sound. Sound a bit loose. Maybe a bit loose, yeah, maybe yeah. a bit quantized. There's also another thing we do is we, we like to find something cool like a drone or, for example, this kind of loop synth thing that sounds a bit weird and we found it a lot easier to write around something like, like that rather than just like writing a bass line straight around the drums. It's always sometimes quite nice to, yeah, find anything that's slightly musical. Yeah. Um, just to like get inspiration around. Just going to group this <clears throat> to make it a little easier on the eyes. That's beautiful. That's really nice, isn't it? Right. Cool. Sounds a bit tight. 
tighter yeah. than it's quantized. It is, yeah. Yeah. That kind of feels like it must be cut right down. Yeah, it yeah. It's quite busy. It's a really cool sound. You could almost make that into like a, yeah. a drone with reverb or something. Put a bit of sidechain on it from yeah. the kick. It's not doing that. So that's now ducking when the kick is hitting. Yeah. Let's say what key that's in. Probably isn't that uh, any key, is no, it? No, let's try and pitch it. Uh, B. B, sorry. B. B, 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 yeah. I have to see. See. Cool. So if we want to get that in G, bump it up seven semitones. Sounds a bit yeah, not sound quite, quite nice right. Let's try it down an octave. Quite often when we write something as well, we <clears throat> have it in there to get the ideas down, and then sometimes it doesn't even necessarily need to be in the track later on. It just helps, for kind of, yeah. yeah, helps for inspiration. Add a bit of delay. Yeah, it's cool. Maybe that up, maybe that'll be maybe more wet and yeah. uh, more padded. Just like the MY thing. Quite dark. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's get serum open and get into some of the basic waves presets. Some nice stuff in here. That sounded sick. <laughs> heavy. That is heavy. I mean, that kind of works with the sound, but no, maybe it's Yeah, too much. maybe you like that start with something a bit on the top, uh, like uh, that's cool. yeah. A little hit. Compression just to bring it out a touch. Take some of the lows out of it and give us some room for some bass below. the side chain from our atmosphere. Recording. And then 
I reckon another little textury pad thing. Let's go. Guys. That's quite cool. Yeah, that is Just cool. a little warm. <laughs> yeah. That's sick. And then that's a nice little pad sound. Gonna use a plugin that we swear by. Use it on absolutely everything. This guy RC20. Nice little preset here called Pad Magic. Just add some cool texture to the synth sound. Makes it sound pretty dusty. We like dust. Do. Well. Yeah, bit of side chain on that, just to kind of keep it bouncing with everything else. Yeah. Yeah, and then I think we are ready to try some bass lines. So let's get Serum back. And have a look at some of these bass labs from Basic Waves. Some pretty heavy stuff in here. <laughs> That's a bumping bass line. The right channel activated. That's sick. That could be good for a breakdown, actually. Yeah, it could. Sort of acid yeah. sound in the break would sound really good. Maybe keep that around. Yeah. So maybe we find a good sound, we'd normally just duplicate it as Archie's doing there, look. And just so it's, you do save it just in case you want it later on down the line. Um, right, otherwise you have to go back into the synth and try and find what you found. Yeah. 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 Heavy. Yeah. Go for plucked bass line or plucked. Yeah. So or it was sustained. Really. It was sustained. Yeah. Probably plucked. I'd yeah. say. I go. I reckon a plucked one. nice sound to it let's try and get a groove on that basically we just hit the notes of our keyboard until kind of like the sound of them neither of us can play the piano <laughs> this is how we do it
And you shall play with the notes until we've got a groove that we're happy with. So we really like to use for bass is CLA 2A because it's super easy to use. You just click it on. It's just got two knobs. Yeah, there you go. Up to the end. Yeah, yeah. nice. That's exactly what I was hearing. And let's turn that into a loop. There we go. I think just for now, let's add a bit of that side chain back in. And then just to give it a little dirt, another plugin that we love is called oh. <laughs> called Fuzz plus. plus, which we just put on this return here. You should just keep it as it is and just send. Oh, we remember EQ, yeah. One thing we realized you've got to EQ this bus, just take the low out because for some reason, if you don't and you bounce stems, you'll actually get that low end over all of the stems. We don't know why that is, do we? Actually? No, it's, it's a bit of a nightmare. Strange. Took us ages to realize yeah. that. And then just send a little here. Then it might be nice trying to add like a little harmony there. Let's try another sound from here. Maybe like a plaque or something. Copy this bass pattern to our new plaque layer. Quite cool, actually. Yeah, it's kind of a cool sound. Yeah, it wants to be a bit tighter. It's cool. Yeah. Right? That just feels a bit like the notes are lasting too long, so just pull the release or the decay back and that'll tighten it up to kind of... Yeah, it's nice. Tight, isn't it? That's cool. Yeah, and then change some of these notes to get some harmonies. Maybe that 
that. Give it like mm. that. Yeah, no. Yeah, cool. It's kind of cool. And then <clears throat> get our old mate RC20 back out. Another really good preset that we just love to use is depth for plucks. Just makes it sound really wide and massive. Add a little delay to this. Again, a bit of that side chain. Sweet. Nice. Hey, to you, James. Hey. Okay. Okay. Um, don't think so. Okay. Sometimes it's a good time now to like just flick stuff out and see if it sounds better. So, for example, like this. That's, that's needed. That's definitely needed. It just adds like a little undertone yeah so flicking stuff on and off you, you can you can listen out for whether like it's improving the record or not but everything that's already in here sounds good so kind of we kind of like to keep it for now um that's just how we saved wasn't it yeah so sometimes we like to kind of just make a little like a little fake drop just to like get a kind of excitement, just to go like a like a um like a fake first drop, just to like get excited about it sometimes, just before you start doing anything else. Um, like writing leads and more music. Sometimes it just helps your brain like kind of imagine what it would sound like when it's more finished. That sounds very cool. So a little gap here. So just literally making a Fake first drop, basically. Oh, don't need to get that long. Just get rid of these. That sounds pretty saucy. Maybe. pretty cool we're actually taking out the drums here just for that little gap before the drop but little mistake just forgot to take out these which are the little um the little like uh rims that archie added in the little hat thing but that actually sounds really cool nice yeah nice and sometimes cool to take out a bit more this can be this will be tweaked like near a finishing, but it's just just like getting a, a rough kind of vibe for the first drop can sometimes help just like get excited about what you're gonna do next basically. And you can just loop it up so it's kind of looping around that first like little build and drop. So we're not really arranging yet, we're just it's just a little just a little tester really. save this as well yeah yeah
listen to the whole just good to just listen to the whole loops um just to like get your head around it Sound. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think yeah, it's quite right. It just sounds. I have a flick through yeah. some other, other plugs. So that's always a good thing to do. Listen through, and your things will 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 you'll be able to point stuff out um, quite easy if it's not working by like doing that. Um, it will jump out at you, which that did straight away. So just felt like it was maybe a bit wet, and maybe a more tough sound. Might work. Sounded better. That's like an octave up. No. So this is what you'll end up doing for hours. That's kind of what our day looks like. Finding sounds. once you start getting into adding army layers it might restrict you to what you can write around everything else so maybe just leap, we'll just mute that off for a minute and then try and find something else uh right should we go for a, should we go for a, try and find a vocal or Maybe go for a lead. Yeah, I mean, what we're in, like, um, like the FX Mega Pack. Is Some just like, cool sounds. Is there, and also Atmospheres. Atmospheres. At the top. This? Uh, no, a basic way of Atmospheres. Not there. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, here. Atonal Atmospheres. They're cool. They're cool for, yeah. you know, for later just... on. That's pretty sick. That's a bit naughty. Again, it's just another kind of texture that adds depth to the whole thing, um, like what we were kind of doing before. So these sounds, I mean, that's more of a, that's more of a pad, but these two together, pretty rude boy. We just want to take the top off that because it's a bit, it's sticking out a bit. Uh, we take the low as well. That should work quite nicely. Okay, like down there, maybe a bit more of the low. Super subtle, but it all adds up in the end to make it sound more interesting basically. Sometimes, I mean, we're kind of 
could just start adding an effect here. Just I, I find we find that if you get your first drop sort of nailed early on, it's a lot easier. We used to actually quite a lot of the time write records from sort of the main breakdown of the tune into the second drop and we'd kind of write that first and then um and then have to go back to write to 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 write the intro and the first drop and that actually could be like a bit of a struggle especially when you've got your first your second drop so massive and then having to go back is kind of a weird way of doing it so now we do tend to get like the first drop sounding just vibey and then you're sort of home free to go into the second drop and all the rest of it. But that's already that's already sounding vibey, so that's a good that's a good sign. Um so that's kind of a rough idea of your first drop. So maybe just add in one more thing just to really sparkle it up a bit. Just like an effect of some sort. Uh effects. Clap for. So these are quite cool to stick over drops. Obviously that's too long. So where are we? Also it's a good idea at this stage, I'd normally stick a little marker up there just to show you where the first drop is. Even though it's not going to be right there, it just means you have to keep scrolling up to see where you are. Obviously I'm quite zoomed in, but um, yeah, that could be cool over the first drop, but I would make it shorter. Uh, like that maybe see how that sounds oh. that sounds quite sick <laughs> just these sorts of things can sound quite cool once you've uh, um delayed them up and stuff maybe just <sighs> Lovely snare rolls. Lovely snare rolls. Yeah. Stick him in. Just tarting it up. It's coming in at a... Yeah. Yeah, I think it's there. I just do that. Oh, sorry, it's not. Yeah, made the BPM yeah. on that. What's the, what was it? One, two, two. There you go. Cool. That's obviously way too savage right now. Let me just fade him in. Just getting this basically just sounding exciting enough to then move on. Um, uh, crashes. Uh, shut up. I think they're in symbols, yeah. Symbols. Oh. I'll do. Oh. Something kind of simple. Probably be enough for now and just, just delay this up so it sounds maybe that wants to be there. So a bit of delay. And let's do. Sorry, I'm not used to Archie's computer. He has all his stuff hidden away in files. Oh. <laughs> no, I was actually looking for. Um, for. Uh, Saturation. Where is saturation? Dynamics. Um, why not? Ah, drive. Of course yeah. it is. Saturator. That's pretty sick. 
it just sounds vibey straight away. So then you can kind of just you can know that your first drop's kind of there. here it needs a pick up in the drums a bit yeah so you could add like another hat layer maybe like another off hat just to so yeah how long are we there only 30 seconds so yeah i kind of start arranging this out a little bit just so something to write around yeah and then Another hat works just to pick up a bit. Might be nice. Just something to sit on the top of this. Um, 909 or 808. Uh, so where was it going to be? Yeah. Just a little touch. adding a tiny bit of top obviously it's not mixed yet but you can hear the difference so add a little bit of more energy just to pick it up maybe um, like another shaker as well yeah maybe another shaker good idea um so it's always good to try and keep semi-organized so i'm the reason i'm going up there with this audio is because i know my shaker's up here and the other shaker's there as well that's just the me being um what's the word anal <laughs> um cool so one more shaker and a ride probably yeah Everything. Oh. So, there. so the reason I'm panning this one is just because I can see not too much. You don't want to pan it too much, but. You can see this one's panned to the left, so you may as well pan that one to the right a bit. And then this one kind of can act as your, as your central one. sold on that yet so maybe we look at um
this new shake already stood out a bit there. It's just because it's been inspired really, but... you've got this layer coming in here and then that coming in there maybe it's just a bit too much so you can progress it slower basically just to keep your ear interested over the whole minute Subtle, but just add something else, doesn't it? Also, maybe a little kick cut here. We love doing this just to give it a bit of fruit. We can even do another cut on the drums, just a little really tight one. Always quite fun. Sorry, no. the drums out maybe sweet and then you're kind of good to start looking at something else she just we normally add sub here as well just to give it some oomph just to make it sound nice and heavy in your studio you can do all these things at the end but we tend to do them quite early on just because um it just gets you excited about it so just elongating the notes here. Just have a straight legato sustain sub. Can be staccato as well, but we'll see. Following the bass. Fiddly fiddly. And then we always use trusty old Sub lab. Um, hidden in Archie's files. There she is. We'll watch out for this because it's very loud. Okay, I normally just use X sub for the monic. It actually won't play if you um, don't bring it down to the right octave. There you go. Oh, we've already got the side chain on it as well. Oh. Progress drums. A little variation on it. Do that with the other clap, that might be quite interesting. Just little things like that keep it, keep it interesting, even though they're very minor, just keeps your ear interested.
Nice. That sounded pretty good. Yeah, nice. Maybe a ride, just whilst yeah, we're on the yeah. drums. So we're not rushing through. We tend to write music really quickly, so we're trying to be as slow as we can. <laughs> um, so, again, so I'm really weird and I like to colour my drums. Archie doesn't do this, but I'm a freak. I like to just have everything in red. Don't know why. No idea why I started doing it, but yeah, so we'll just colour these red. So you basically select all of these channels, right click, and then hit red, and it will just stick those on the red and then select all that. And hit that, and that's and then it's all kind of all in red, nice and tidy. Um, yeah, sometimes at this point, it might be, it's good to just tidy it up a little bit, even though we're not that far into it. It's always just, I find personally, um, I don't feel the same, Arch. You don't really mind, do you? Just What's have that? it slightly organised, your stuff, so it just looks... Oh, yeah, yeah, so it just, yeah. It's just easy for your brain to see where everything is. Makes life easier. Yeah. Um... Okay. So that's your music. Um... That's kind of ambient. There's your ambient bits. Just play your music however you like. Lovely blue for the eyes. And that'll do for now. Keep it all nice and organized. Oh, uh, glad ride, aren't we? Ride. Um, another thing, the ride is just like a symbol, just to pick the drums up even more. We kind of tend to use it in every single one of our tracks, just like brings up NG even more in drums. And we tend to use it as like a pickup in the first um the first half of the tune, first main section, and then we normally always have it dropping on the second drop for like maximum um energy. Uh where would it be? Symbols in there. That's a ride. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of raspy. And just loop this up. Nice. Loop that. Save this actually till then, till the last. How long is that? Last 15 seconds. Nice. So that's all good progression. Right. I think we need a lead. Oh, that actually could be a really sick layer for the for the bass, not the harmony. Maybe. Too high. Maybe it's like just as like little one off hits. Yeah, yeah. Like bow, bow. Yeah, okay. And it's quite wet this, so you probably want to dry this out. This looks like it's in the synth. Uh, where are the effects? Let's see, with the drive. Just tiny it up a bit. Yeah. 
seems to be a bit tougher. Maybe like... Maybe it's too... Maybe it's actually too uh, driven. It's a slip. Hmm? Like the first two hits? First two. Let's put them in different play. Maybe not the last one. Yeah. Maybe with a sound like this, you kind of want to just mix it a little bit, just so it sounds. Because at the moment, it just sounds a bit, sounds a bit wimpy. Um, so let's go for CLA. That will sound good. Okay. That sounds better than you did. It sounds like this. You kind of want to be quite brash with these. So it sounds like you've got a delay on it. Uh, maybe turn them off. Even. What's going to happen? to keep it the same. This one? Yeah. Just straight the whole way. As in, no. Keep that as it was. Yeah? Yeah. That. And then just put that up there. might be cool to get rid of something. Um, That's sounding pretty good. It just feels like it obviously needs definitely needs something else. Um, so let's try a lead. You hearing anything, Arch? Yeah. Anything flat? Cool, so yeah, next up, reckon some pads. 
and some leads. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get the serum back up. What's this one? Let's get this is match something there. I feel like let's get the lead in and then we can maybe look for like well at the end there's like a little touch, don't we? Yeah, might just start with some pads. To copy these root notes from the sub. Like a wasp. Yeah. Tranquil cool sound. Maybe it seems to be something a bit more not so complicated, unless you might be, you might overcrowd it a bit for a lead, maybe. Yeah. It's a bit more like simple. That's probably the best one, yeah. Yeah. Maybe go up an octave. Yeah, that's nice. Nice pad. Very nice. So we got some notes that we like the sound of. Give them a bit of compression. Twenty on it. One of these pad 
presets, uh, no more boring pads, also a really good one. Another thing we like putting on our pads um, is this trance gate thing, um, which kind of gives it a bit of rhythm. Let's do like that. But we tend to sort of dial it back, so it's like. So you get like... You get a bit of the movement in it, but also quite a lot of the original pad. nice see some some people might be put off by that weirdness but weirdness weird is good yeah just adding a bit of color So what we often do is we have these kind of building in the kind of breakdowns and the sort of uh, build ups like. drop sound pretty impactful usually the first drop sometimes the second drop we keep them going over and then sort of that color sort of comes back in 16 bars later i think they're sounding cool let's try a lead as well Or do you want to try, try, try a vocal first? Might be easier then. Um, what do you think? Sure. Just for vibe. Have you got anything saved? Uh, let's have a look. Um, for a little vocal as well. Just a little snivy snoo. Um, what key are we on? We're in G. Let's have a look what I've got here. On Figgy Poop. Life. Figgy Pudding. I <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Let's go there. Let's go. With splice, you've got to be super careful because obviously anyone can use these. So we always tend to try and munch these vocals and kind of make them our own as much as possible rather than just slinging something in um, and not really touching it. it can be dangerous. Yeah, um, especially with people who are like radio and stuff. They've heard the splice sample before in tunes. You'll struggle sometimes to get it played because they're kind of off put by that. So 
so we tend to just kind of leave it running in the background, put it on loop, and uh, just play some bits and bobs. <laughs> before the drop. Non start, that'd be nice. Yeah. Bring that over. That's probably enough to have a look at for now. Add some saturation just to kind of yeah, 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 yeah. make it a bit more crusty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coat it in delay. Sound yeah, well. it's not quite, it's not quite right, is it? It's no, just not, it's not it's quite there. Not quite crispy enough. Doesn't no. kind of cut through enough. That one, sure, yeah, that might be nice. Mm. Wasn't bad, but just not the energy. Yeah. I think it'll work in the tune somewhere. Yeah, it just musically doesn't quite work, does yeah. it? Yeah. That also work. Yeah. Elsewhere. To be honest, there's kind of enough going on at that, that drop one, yeah. isn't there? With all the effects and stuff. Yeah. be nice kind of going into something so like mm. i think that little that that layer that i added wasn't isn't really working which one the do do the yeah we can, yeah, we can we'll keep that for the that. break yeah. yeah that will work not there too much going on some auto pan to give us a bit of movement. Two little bits are 
kind of nice. We'll keep these bits for later Christmas. on, see if they work. <laughs> the nice little melodic bits are in the serum packs kind of feels like it wants something really tough doesn't it because it's kind of this yeah kind of feeling quite deep quite yeah not soft but really sad for the lead. Yeah. 
you know, sometimes we just find a sound that we like and then write a lead and then change it. Change so. it. Yeah, just once we've got the notes we're happy with. <laughs> Have a go at getting some notes in. too sort of angelic I think a little bit the sound yeah. for me yeah I like the notes lifting the whole tune up a couple a db not a couple db a couple of um bpm um and sometimes it works well sometimes it's, it's something sounding a bit slow it's always worth trying that out um that didn't work though obviously it, it's the right tempo definitely but it's always worth trying that um like even if you're near finishing the record yeah for sure strong enough to be like the kind of lead for the tune but I think it's definitely pick up maybe could be a nice pick up somewhere yeah sweet 
Oh, that's you, James. <laughs> what should we do? Should we keep trying to lead, or...? Yeah, let's see if we want. It's hot. So this part can be really difficult. I mean, this can take us a day just to get this, like, a lead to work. Um, sometimes it never works. Um, and it's just a case of persevering, really. Um, it can take hours, days, weeks. It's just one of those things. Um, maybe like an art, just like yeah. her energy. Actually, there are in here. Yeah, that's something sequence. Yeah. Necessary a lead, but it's quite a good pickup if you were to have it. Super. We were just kind of weird, it's kind of discordant, but kind of cool. We just lay that down anyway, even if we don't use it. That's the first song we clicked on, so. Sounds 
Try a different bass note. Oh, the bass? No, no, um, in that chord bit. <laughs> twizzle the knob and it sounded cool that's sometimes well happens quite a lot <laughs> maybe also maybe that in yeah so just playing with stuff that you actually don't know what you're even doing but can like happy mistakes like that so just automating that in so basically I just click that. So yeah, for automation you hit this little thing up here and that brings up your automation option. And then you can start drawing this in. So this line is basically controlling that knob. Basically get it to how you want it. It can be very fiddly, but very cool. So Pretty cool, kind of weird. We always like to keep it strange. Again, this probably isn't strong enough. Well, it's definitely not strong enough for the lead, but. So even that little bit. It goes mad there, it's just super cool. We love to do stuff like that, just to keep it super interesting. Even though it's really gonna be really subliminal on the tune. do 
other mad stuff. I don't know, you could maybe at this point this might work. So open up a at this point might open up a return and then stick. This is one thing we tend to do quite a lot of in our tunes. A delay. And then you stick your feedback up to about 87. EQ the delay about there. Dry, uh, wet, completely wet. Ping pong, so it's kind of panning left to right. And then you're just messing with kind of the groove here. Um, and then add a <clears throat> reverb on that as well. Stick up the decay, which is the, the length of the reverb. So that's five seconds from when the sounds hit. Uh, just cut the low end out of it as well. And then stick the dry weight up to about 60. And then you get a really cool sound like this. Might not work, but it's good. And you get that mad delay off it. So then just automating that send here. So, so now that's, so this automation here is automating this send, which is our delay and reverb, which can, can, can make some really cool sounds. Might not work, but. That's kind of into your breakdown, so it's kind of nice for breakdowns, that delay. Ooh, that delay stab thing. Yeah, we, we always use that, don't we, Arch? Yeah. And maybe just go into your automation menu, get the serum delay, um, serum uh, automation we just did then, and I would copy that over. Uh, you do that. I just do this actually. Oh my lord. You get a really cool like tail up there. Right. good idea like because we're kind of going around in circles here so now might be a good time to start just like going into the break just to give your brain like some change otherwise if you keep going round and round and round you'll just get sick of it in the end which we tend to do all the time um it can like spark new ideas if you start going into the break so Yeah, 
so that already sounds quite cool. Even though we weren't sold on these as the leads, so they do sound kind of cool when you go into the break. You kind of bring this other one, other layer in. With that. So, should we just commit to that? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to write something else? Yeah, let's go for it. Maybe some piano or something. sound to that big delay that we um, set up earlier. It's just really handy to set this up early doors because it's just very fun to play with um, and it can obviously create more excitement as you're just as you're writing. Um, I just... yeah, it's a really nice ambient thing. Automation. Actually, this might be the time to bring in that sound that we had earlier. for the last part of the build. Just bring in the snare rush. This and you want to stick a, some something plucky on the top? Yeah, cool. Cool. yeah, so we're just getting as we said before, it's sometimes we were going around around the circles here, and it kind of you just start getting really bored of it and you kind of don't know where to go. So then, kind of moving on from that, going into the break can spark new ideas, which we've just we've just come up with a new idea where it might not work, but to add like a stabby kind of chord progression over here is like the last kind of lead drop kind of thing um so it's always a good idea to do that if you're just going around around circles just move on to something else is in like something else within the record um cool <laughs> I'll do is I'll just swing this over real quick. gonna pull this over just to make us again we're just making a kind of fake um drop as it were uh, is that? Yeah. Just pulling over everything before we have the door. Right. Let me keep that going.
kind of pushing the res the resolution on that sound it kind of goes all like acidy which we love we love a bit of acid so that might be kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> Resonance, sorry. <laughs> Resolution, Jesus, resonance. Sorry, resonance. <laughs> Chords in here as well. Cool. Oh, oh. Just let Archie carry on, but that's starting to sound. Getting there. Yeah. Just needs one final bit of something sauce. From the horse. Let's have a little look. sound like if we morphed these two yeah good idea um it's a plugin we really like to use <coughs> called morph and it just can create really cool and interesting sounding um kind of textures really it kind of get you get two sounds and you kind of put them together and it comes up with something completely different so in this instance we'll use this sound Double compression. Oh, nice. why not? <laughs> There's no rules in this game, really. You can do whatever you want. What about ten compressions? And then it's and a biggie pudding on the top. It's root. Let's root that into this. So, we'll try a few of these presets. So you end up with like one kind of sound, which is a combination of two of them, but in a kind of, it makes it sound like really analogy as well. Um, <laughs> Let's get a little bit of side chain on this. <laughs> Resolution. <laughs>
smack attack yeah, on have, that. On the mort. Yeah. Yeah, see how that goes. This is another thing we use all the time. It's really sick. It's like smack attack. Just quite fun to play with. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it makes it yeah. quite tight. Yeah. Some chords. And there's already quite a lot of yeah, it might be chordal information. Although we might want to take some stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to throw some chords. Um. Yeah, let's add a, try and add a bit of piano. Let's draw out the tone. Tone in blue, just pull all the way to the top. Let's, let's have a look at these chords. Yeah, if you, um... for a piano. I would maybe just try it and then we can take some just so they can see and then we might take some. If you um if you just um go to the piano mate sound and then turn out the brightness right to the top as well that'll make it Maybe don't even want the pads in the break. I, I had, they weren't in the break originally. Yeah, sure. Maybe just because it was quite going on. Yeah. Try 
feeling out some stuff. So there's quite a lot going on there now, so maybe, some stuff off. maybe get rid of some bits, see what's kind of working the best. Mm. Let's get these piano sounding a bit more interesting. Crazy. Also benefit from some compress some side chain from the kick. A little bit of a bounce. Mm. Taking it in a different direction, but I do like how they sound. Maybe that, maybe the. like that then. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I think. Mike, no, I like that sound on the lead. I might just try different melody now we've got these pianos in. Mm. So pianos are nice. Yeah, pianos are sounding good. Um
So. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. And then maybe get some... That one it's just annoying mm. me a bit. Perfect, but we can come back to that. Cool, yeah, let's try a sustained yeah. bass. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, before that, let's try an octave up on this as well. It's just to make the piano shine a bit more. Oh, Very nice. Nice piano. Yeah, that's got something cool. Sustained bass in the drop down. Should we try this one? I don't think we tried that one. Reese, oh, lots of Reese's. Where's that? Oh, yeah. Look at all the Reese's. Ah, nice. Collection of Reese's. We yeah. love a Reese. We love a Reese. <laughs> So nice. That's always crazy. Yeah, first one's great. Try that. Nice wall modulation on it. Oh, oh naughty. Yeah. Get on. Beers, Latin beers. Get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe a pickup, you can have it. Yeah. We just mix the main button. Yeah.
There's a lot going on at the moment, as you can pr probably hear, but we, we tend to do this, get everything just in, and then when you come to mixing it, you'll then start taking stuff out, because obviously there's way too much going on, but yeah, it's just sort of the process we do. Copy those over. <clears throat> Copy them over from our vocal channel. I think it's made us super wet. Yeah, distant wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On there. Yeah, or maybe just before the drop, like there. Yeah. effects as well yeah um Quick. there's a lot Quick. in there it's too much time now 35 minutes oh we gotta do some speed mixing arch i know just got a few of these in real quick lovely angle actually with part <laughs> it's fine <laughs> It's pretty cool sound. That's wicked. That could be like a thought on the on the snare rush. Yeah, good idea. I think you've got the old Reese going as well, which sounds cool. Yeah, I thought that was actually part <laughs> yeah. of it. That's cool. in this pack. We have the drop. Yeah. White noise in the drop. That's nice the way it comes down as well. Mm. Yeah, we always put a bit of white noise on our drops. It might be alright, it might be alright anyway, that sound. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Nice dose of side chain on that. Bum, bum, ba. So 
a little look for Horizon. Horizon, I think. Yeah. yeah, and then we're pretty Three much. Next. Pretty cool. Very cool. Um, not seeing a riser in this. So, Is there um? What about in the? What about in the? Ah, uh, yeah, in the, pack. in the packs. Let's have a look. There we go. Whole pack oh, of them. Oh, we're treating ourselves here. And they're in key oh, as well. Oh. Audio kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Just distant. For some tension, eh? We have news our old um watch out. True, yeah. Awesome. Well, that's pretty much got everything in that we're looking for. You, you want to start with the drums? Yeah, it's actually going to hand over to you, James. Mm, okay. Because have you got a fab? Have you got the fab field stuff? Yeah. Oh, you do. Yeah. Right. So drums. Um, yeah, so we're going to start the mix now. Obviously, we haven't got that much time, so we'll be quite quick. And yeah, as I said, like there's there's loads of stuff in here that won't make make it in because obviously there's too much going on. And when you go through the mix, you'll you can spot what's what's needed and what isn't. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start the drum bus off, and then Arch can do his drum bus because he's got his little tools on here that he's used to. So kick drum. Um, sorry, first just scooping out any of the really low lows. Um, in terms of this, you can see like on the EQ. Hang on, let me start again. On the EQ, you can see like where the peak of the the oomph of the kick is. So it's around here. So you don't need any of this area because it's inaudible pretty much anyway. And it just times out. So yeah, I mean it's peaking at like forty five, forty five hertz. So you want to keep all that juice in there. Just cut all that stuff that you don't need. And then we always tend to actually at around 180 hertz just pull out a little bit around there. It just seems to clean kicks up. There's always a bit normally in most kick drums. There's always a bit of a resiness. I don't know if you can hear, but it just cleans up that like res low low mid around 180. We tend to do that every single time. It's just quite a good little trick. Um, and then maybe just a little bit of you don't need to compress this kick really you can hear it's really slamming already maybe just a bit of um, saturation just to be sometimes too and then just checking when you're flashing that on and off you're just listening to what it's doing sounds right just give me a little bit more um, Now, obviously, make sure your kick's in mono. You can see some kick drums are actually not in mono, and you just kind of want them in mono. That one, it's like it actually isn't. Can you see it here in the meter? It looks like it's slightly stereo, so I would just, just to be safe, it might be mono, but just to be safe, stick a, um, a utility on it and just mono it. It wants to be fully down the middle. There we go. See, that's fully monoed. So always watch out for that. And then we're going to some hat. Cool. So. Pull out the lows. I mean, there isn't any lows in this anyway, but all the thumb, always pull out your, your lows and your percussion -y stuff. You don't need anything down here. It's all up here, your percussion. Also, you can see there's actually some quite harsh highs here. We tend to always scoop those out. Um, like, you know, 20k range, but none of that needs to be in there. Um, I would normally put a 
need to reverb on these, but I, I, that's on my computer, so I'll let do that. But uh, a bit of compression here, just a little bit. Um, do a squeeze. I just literally pulled that a bit. Could have been for that. Okay. Party's computer sounds like it's about to take off, so the mix might not be perfect as we like it, but those actually might benefit from some a little bit of yeah, a little bit of um saturation. Bit warmer, it's quite good, it just fattens them up. You can hear. Just makes them a bit more crunchy. Like we did originally, we panned these left and right, haven't we? So that one's that one's kind of down the middle. This shaker. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna copy these. I don't need to copy that actually. So if you can copy and paste these, it makes life quicker because you're gonna do pretty much the same thing and everything. Yeah. So that one's to the right. And then when this one comes in, oh, sorry, you to loop up here. This is where we're mixing because everything's in here. Um, so yeah, oh, make sure you always loop when all your drums are going. Really, that's the best rule of thumb. That's how we do it. That one's panned to the left, so that right and left. So you've got some like nice width on the drums. Again, that sounds pretty good. Sound doesn't need low, loads and loads of processing, really. It's just good, good EQing, good balance, really. Always tricky getting hat, hatsy stuff in, like perfect straight off the bat. Easier. Once there's more stuff in the tune, like your bass and stuff, it's kind of easy to reference off those things. But... Yeah, a bit more low now that hat. Just a touch. Also, mixing when you're mixing, mixing at low levels on your speakers is also a wise decision. Just if you blast it, then especially with like mixing the toppy stuff, you start getting ear fatigue basically, and you end up your hats end up being like 10 dB too loud, like I normally do. And, uh, <laughs> she does. <laughs> my hat's probably too loud now, but. That's mixing for you.
impulse <laughs> normally we'd split these but we don't have the time so let's just mix them up there's sometimes nice on rims to have a little bit of reverb on rims yeah uh, obviously you got the hat in there which you could probably split off again but another thing you just go back and forth on cool last layer sometimes it's nice to pan these not all the time but um sometimes it works quite well we'll just we'll just do it in this one just to see um where is the panning auto pan sometimes quite cool just to pan left and right just feel kind of gives you more width And I'll hand it over to Archie. Jesus Christ, I deleted it all. <laughs> Archie can do the bus. Thanks, James. That's no worries, Arthur. I'm um, good. 20 minutes. The speed mixing. <laughs> then what we have been using quite a lot is uh, the virtual mix rack from Slate. Just has some really nice um, kind of like tape and desk emulation stuff. Sounds pretty good. Um, and we just like to use this under the drums presets, uh, just the polish one. Kind of makes it quite bright. So it's all that bad. Quite like that low end thump though, mm. but yeah, dial a bit of those mid highs back. Kind of gels it together really nicely, um, but you know, usually we'd spend a touch more time finessing that, but that's sounding pretty cool. And then Soothe, which we just whack on after that, just to take a bit of the uh, harshness out of the highs. Again, we just tend to just go to the drum room harsh thing here. Very good plug-in, Steve. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Bring One of the best things ever. Bring back the depth a little bit. Super subtle, but does make a difference, especially at high volumes. Yeah, maybe bring the kick back down a bit now. Nice. Now take a look at the bass. What are the bass lines? Um, right. What's our main one? Perfect. We've already got the CLA 2A on there. Make four us. Doing a bit of work. And now, because we've got a sub in here as well, we need to take a bit of low end out of this and we tend to cut it around 80. Freeing up all the space here for our sub. And got obviously got our EQ, uh, sorry, our side chain there. 
ducking it when the kick hits just to make more room for it. It's kind of showing some kind of panning stuff on the right, more information on the right, but we want this quite down the middle. So let's at least get our low frequencies. Definitely in mono by using utility. sub in now you can actually take the compressor off that because whatever they do in sub lab is pretty mad and it just sounds super heavy then here we just need to kind of roll off these tops some of these pads in yeah probably did a bit of work on these something right actually mm. Just add a touch of side chain on these. Wicked pad sound. Mm. Next, let's get some. a bit of compression on this. See that pretty subtle? Yeah. And uh, what a chord sounding. Let's try a bit of RC20 on this. These vinyl presets are pretty cool. This other pad as well. A bit of delay on this. Touch of delay, uh, sorry, reverb. And we kind of want this pretty distance. So. the atmosphere again these are these are subtle but they do add a difference especially on headphones Let's see how 
how his vocals are looking. Very nice. Put a little compression on them. the drive on the saturation a little. sound this. What do you reckon on this song, mate? Don't know, it's maybe we want to might we get go to the piano maybe and just yeah maybe they want to hide under the piano now that that piano yeah, sounds so good that's what i'm thinking it kind of wants to be a bit more tucked away yeah let's get these individual Bits of processing here. Whack these on the group now with the low and high pianos. on these as well. soothe on this as well, tame some of those resonances. Puzzles. I just realised they're going to be able to dub this on the on the actual video. What do you mean? Because they're going to be getting all the the speaker noise. Should we, should we have been doing it in headphones? <laughs> to find out. Yeah. <laughs> right. So maybe also because we can wrap up. Uh, yeah. Just be like, and then. Yeah, 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 that's it. Well, it's sort of arranged already, isn't it? Kind of. Sort of. Um, cool. So Archie's mixed. What's he mixed? He's mixed all that. Okay, maybe the. Re Actually, what I would do.
students in the piano group maybe it just feels like they could be a little shinier. Um, and the uh, which one is it? It's the S S G stereo, I think. Gives it a little bit of sparkle. I think we've already got a fuzz plus that definitely wants to go to that. Make it sound proper naughty. Um, and then we want to do some CLA2A. Don't really need to do much more than that. Just balance, just balance it in. sound that we were kind of committing to maybe doesn't want to be the lead now that the piano's in because the piano sounds so good. So we kind of want, this kind of wants to hide underneath now this sound. a bit of reverb on it maybe just to see how it sounds just to soften it a bit maybe take, take, take the oomph out of it a bit because it needs to hide under the piano anyway in some of these effects again it's oh just really doesn't need much there's such good sounds already it doesn't need much at all if something sounds good there's no point in like covering it in vsts it's it doesn't if it sounds good already then try not to mess with it too, too try not to mess with it too much a bit of saturation and a bit of depression
So yeah, just put, kind of getting everything, all these bits in. Again, just, just a little bit of compression saturation, doesn't need loads. Same again, just a little bit of compression. Saturation EQ. Works already done here, really. Just maybe if it's already sounding good as well. Don't mess around with anything. Just if it, just if you feel like any, you can improve it, then maybe just I just say a bit of EQ at the end. Yeah. Just to it's already sounding good. So. This one's getting a little bit hidden underneath everything. So what I do, what we do is just go into the actual, just the, just the, um, the piece of audio and just control it here with the gain. You just double click, this will come up and then you can just turn it up here rather than having to automate it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Don't need this. And then maybe it just feels like it still could do. It feels. It feels like the drop is. Um, it's so good now that it feels like it needs more tension before this point. You can kind of hear it. So it's dropping so well here already, like with white noise and stuff. So it feels like we normally use a very fun plugin called Washout. Um, yeah, use the library. Use the library, I don't know what it is, because watch his computer. And then type is set. So. Wash out, audio effects. Yeah, this jobby. So this on the master. So you stick this on the master, it's so easy. This gives you this like amazing rising washout effect. Another one you can use is uh, Endless Smile. That's what lots of people use as well. That's really good as well, um, just for adding like like reverb and just filtering up to drops just to make drops sound extra like massive um but this one's particularly good you just got to be slightly careful because it can get quite loud it's the harder you push this up so we'll show you what we do anyway so just automate them in so yeah here it is wash out done it and then that's it right there so just all the automation in. Can hear it. Probably a bit much, but it's just a preference, really. Just 
just made that build sound much bigger now. Actually, doesn't sound like it's getting too loud, but when you come to Bouncer, you might find that, find that this part, when this automation's going up and the washout gets a bit loud, which means that it will be taking away from your drop a bit. So if that happens, you just need to go into your master, really, and, and um, automate the, your volume down just to just the preference, really. Um... <laughs> Sounded pretty cool. Just one other thing. Sometimes it's quite fun to do this sort of stuff. So if you just duplicate this, obviously you would. We haven't had time to auto, um, uh, to arrange everything. Um, but obviously there'd be a lot more work to do on the arrange and stuff. Well, a lot more work to do overall. But stuff like this is kind of cool. We like to do. So after like 32... Your second drop to add a little kind of kick anti drop kick section there. We do that a lot in our music and it always just feels really good in clubs. We just like kind of deepens it down again and then you bring the, all the drums back in, which kind of gives you another drop in a way. Um, but yes, I think that's it. Arch, anything else? No, I mean, yeah, for now, I mean, that's sort of how we start our tracks, yeah, and get our ideas down and sort of go from there. Obviously, we get a bit more into the arrangement and the mix and stuff, but. Yeah, it's been great to work with these sounds. Yeah. Thanks a lot for having us. Thank you very much for having us. Amazing sounds. Toodaloo. See you next time.